Dante, Lord of Luxury. This is this is a card that uh, until I drafted, I thought was only a rare, but it yeah. got down jump at the bottom. So I get to steal things from you. Mm. Yeah, so Brad used to play a lot of Gonti decks and he would play them because he would build such, you know, just atrocious mid-range decks yeah. that he needed his <laughs> opponent's cards to win the game. So, yeah. Not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was straight serious. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, peasants? It's Shuffle Up and Play, and we are drafting a peasant cube today. What exactly is a peasant cube? Supplied to us by Emma, what Hello. have you brought for us? Yep, so we brought a peasant cube. Uh, so peasant cube is anything with just commons and uncommons, so no rares and mythic rares here. Um, and it's a really fun way to play magic because there's this limitation in place. You're not playing these super powerful cards. Wait a second, are you implying there aren't super powerful cards at the common and, <laughs> dare I say it, uncommon level? Hey, what I'm saying is- Give me an example of a couple of the cards that are in this cube. Um, so we have stuff like Force of Will. Force of Will. Demonic Tutor. Demonic Tutor. Wasteland. Wasteland, yeah, and no Silver power libraries. here. These are, these are chairs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Silver Library is another good one. Um, but these were around before rares even existed, right? So they're technically commons. They're and technically uncommons. commons technically. and uncommons. Yeah. And this is your this is your personal cube that All you've right. brought for us. Yep, so it's a fun 450 card cube. I brought it to KubeCon recently, which was a recent event in Madison, Wisconsin. I just really like these lower powered formats or lower rarity formats. It's just a different way to play magic. So what would be the total cost if I wanted to purchase this cube that we're playing today mm -hmm. and I didn't care now this is all foiled out and blinged out but I didn't care yes. about that and I just wanted the lowest possible cost about how much would it run me uh, so on average you're looking at around like four hundred dollars mm -hmm. however um, as mentioned earlier there's like demonic tutors and sylvan libraries these cards are expensive right you can trim on those cards and it will be closer to three hundred mm. awesome well list to this cube is in this video's description the way this is going to work today mm -hmm. is we <laughs> We'll have our round one opponents battle it out. Then Emma and I will play against each other on round two. And the winner of round one will fight against the winner of round two for the ultimate title. Who do we have playing in our round one today? Thank you so much, Prof. All right, my name is Brad Nelson, and I am a former professional magic player, a former writer for Star City Games, a former Twitch streamer, a former YouTube content creator, a former host of the Bash Bros podcast that we did together. Yep, absolutely. And a former guest on this very show, Shuffle Up and Play. That's right, we did have you on before. <laughs> well, who let you back in here? <laughs> I don't know, I just kind of snuck in. Uh. <laughs> and I'm Corey Ballmeister, and I guess I just do all of those things now. <laughs> here. Yeah. No, but uh, in all seriousness, I uh, am out of the game, as you would say, and now a co-founder and co-owner of Melee.gg, an online okay. events, operations, and registration platform. Okay, fair enough. And I guess I am a, a commentator. I uh, do a lot of the commentating for Pro Tours, regional championships, the world championships, uh, kind of do everything for commentating. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. I you pitch. have a YouTube <laughs> channel? Yep, yep. <laughs> way less cool than yours. Oh, yeah. Way <laughs> less cool. <laughs> so so this, this is why I'm going to bring you back. This is why I'm going to bring you back. Yes, yeah, yes. Good, good comment. And, and yeah. for those who don't actually know, because we look nothing like each other, yes. Corey and I are, in fact... <laughs> Biological <laughs> brothers. <laughs> yeah, we're throwing them off with the different last names. Exactly. As well, yeah. But yes, we swear we're brothers. <laughs> They're just two brothers. Just two, just two brothers. brothers. <laughs> And Emma, you told us about your cube, but you didn't tell us about yourself. Yep, so I'm Emma Partlow. I am the content uh, editor and almost content head for TCG Player. I'm also a magic commentator. I've been doing commentary for KubeCon. I'm also a member of the Pauper Format panel, which is uh, a group of people that just overlooks the Pauper Format, ban on ban cards, look at the health of the format. You, like you, you banned my ATOGs. You banned <laughs> my ATOGs out of Pauper. She personally did it. Yes, I, I, I know, that's, yeah. right. that's what Gavin <laughs> told me. Yeah, I said, Gavin, why, why? It was, it was, uh, yeah. She's got an anti-ATOG agenda. <laughs>
So for my deck tech here for this peasant cube, which I had a ton of fun drafting, I started it off with Usher of the Fallen. So I had a very clear plan in mind that I was gonna go very aggressive, that didn't really work out, but then I found my way into my one of my favorite cards of all time, Soul Herder. And then I just absolutely had a plan. I wanted to figure out all the things that had something to do with coming into play so I could blink them out with Soul Herder. And then I got the gift from the heavens in pack three, where I got both Ephemerate and Momentary Blink that really just tied my deck together. Then I had to add a couple extra cards, maybe for the content. First, Force Spike. If I ever get prof with a Force Spike, it is gonna be the greatest moment on Shuffle Up and Play history. I'm calling it right now. Outside of that, I got to play with a couple of my other really favorite cards. Cards, your cards. I'm gonna be playing Control Magic and Mind Control. I hope I play against some really big stuff so it can become my big stuff. So my first pick was Anafenza Kin Tree Spirit because it has a really cool combo element to it and the opening pack also had Kitchen Finks in it and that's just a two car combo right there together. Sadly, someone took a Kitchen Finks in the first six packs which made me scramble and try to find a different way to get there but luckily I did find a combo that I can deploy and that is with Anafenza Kin Tree Spirit and Putrid Goblin. When I have these both in play and a sacrifice outlet, I can continuously sack the Putrid Goblin coming back, getting a plus one plus one counter from Anafenza and effectively getting to do it again. Now that just allows me to put a goblin in and out of play and that's not good enough. So I've got these Falconroth Noble, a Bastion of Remembrance and an Elisa Ilkor that if they're also in play, I get to drain my opponent each time I do this. I think it's gonna be a pretty tough thing to actually combo out, but you know, if I'm playing my brother, I'm gonna find a way to get him. So we're about to begin Baron 1, but I think we, there should be some stakes. So I think that if yeah. Brad defeats you, Corey, Cut. Brad should be on the Pro Tour, right? That's that's yes. the thing, Brad, Brad goes on the Pro Tour. tour right? Yeah, I think you'll be the commentator then, and then I'll just work the melee events if you win. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and if you win, you get to retire from Magic. Perfect! Yeah. This could be my He's, final show, all right. Yeah, this, this, this is a lot of stakes, actually. This wow. <laughs> I got a really You said you were going to have some good mills for us, but I didn't know how, yeah. how big these things were going to be. Shall we roll for high? Let's do it. All right. Oh, that's not that high. high. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Got it. My brother is such a one upper. It's outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, see, we used to we used to be very competitive in yes. our days. What do you they're shuffling, shuffling each other's decks. decks. Well, that's the show name. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Brad's here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah the yeah, play. Play. We right. yeah, shuffle yeah, yeah. first. There is a, right. there's a pro player and Corey. Right. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I will be first, which my deck somewhat needs. Okay, okay. It's a little slow. Good luck to you, Bradley. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, the full name. <laughs> Bradley's coming out. My hand's very slow and awkward. Mm. I want to mulligan it. Okay. But I'm too scared of what my six was. I think I got to. It's just a bunch of lands and two spells. Ooh, it's was that a Knight's Whisper? I don't was. think I've ever <laughs> seen you mulligan. Two mana, a Knight's Whisper yeah, on the I've plane. got a lot of like draw twos in my deck. We'll show you where they all yeah. are, but there's a lot of value in here. Brad, so. those cards could be anything. They could, they could <laughs> be more lands. They couldn't be more Knight's Whispers, though. That's true. There's only one of I would them. be worried if there was more Knight's Whispers in my cube. I'm yes. gonna keep mine. I think this is uh, not bad, not bad. Would you like to shuffle up my deck again? I'm just gonna cut this time. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. That's There's the your Knight's Whispers. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> was it good? It's Knight and Whispers. Oh, no! No way! That would be so good. You'll have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can I can keep this hand. It, in fact, still has Knight's Whisper. So you're putting it at the bottom, huh? Oh, no, that one I'm <laughs> oh. What do you think? I'm going to go with the expert opinion over here. Oh, yeah. no pressure. Yeah. Phone a friend. I'm not giving I'd up like this. I'd like to phone a friend yeah, as well. Sure. I want to like keep mine. this. I want to keep that. Yes. yes. That's over yes. these two. I'm yeah, a mad man. I thought it was like these. I think. Yeah, I think I'm I think it's that. All right, I'm going to put a really good card at the bottom, and I might regret it. Final answer? Final answer. A Knight's Whisper. All right, so we've shuffled up. Is there some other thing we're supposed to do on this? Show? Play! <laughs> play! Let's do it! All right, I'm going to play a plane okay. and pass the turn. Okay, I'm going to draw. I'm going to play Memorial of Genius, tap land, and I can pay five, get rid of it, draw two magic cards. You don't have five. Nowhere near. Then I'll pass you, bro. I will draw for the turn. I'm going to play a swamp, and I'm going to cast that card we've been talking about, Knight's Whisper. Yes. When Target? This Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. Dang it. It's not, <laughs> not signed in I will target you. All right. <laughs> and what happens is I lose two life, dropping okay. me to 18, and draw two cards. Okay. 
and pass the turn to you. All right, I'm gonna untap, draw a card. No good play this turn, so I'm just gonna play a planes and pass to you. I'm gonna untap and draw for turn three. I guess that I, I guess I gotta go with that play. You got gonna, the good? Yeah, I'm gonna play yeah. one of the cards that is no longer playable in modern. Now there's a lot of cards no longer playable in modern. <laughs> okay. This used to be one of my favorite cards, even splashing it okay. in decks that weren't white. I'm going to cast Lingering Souls. Ooh, you're trying to make two spirits, huh? I would like to make two spirits. Brad, did you happen to have one colorless mana available? Oh, nice. Nice. I do not have one oh, no. colorless mana. Ooh, I'm gonna have to disrupt that. Oh no. Unless you pay one. I'm not gonna need a splashback, but I will not get spirits today. Yeah, it could have been a better <laughs> target, but you know, I think I was going to Dwari Disruption. Anything, any three yeah. drop there, so. You done, bro? I am done. Okay. I will draw. All right, I'm going to play a planes. I got two good cards. Since you phoned a friend for that, yeah. what do you what do you think, Prof? Which one do you like? Are you on? just going to win right now on this turn? Corey, Corey, Absolutely Corey, not. Corey. Yeah. I've been on the show before. Yeah. You should ask Emma. Emma, <laughs> what should I play? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. I'm gonna cast this one, get this knife out of Prof's back, yeah. and uh, win uh, a Leros <laughs> and Trap. I now don't hang know. on, you have yeah. to be able to pronounce your card or you in order to successfully it. resolve it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play. We are in trouble. Can you just put the Urza swear word over and we'll pretend that I. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have like AI like functionality to go. Yeah, okay. So I'm playing Urza. When it comes into play, I get a 3 2 reflection. This doesn't untap as long as I control a reflection. One of my favorite cards. This card's cool. So, and then I'll pass to you. That is another good draw. And I could. I have, I have a couple interesting decisions that I can make here. Okay. So you being blue white, there's the, one of the cool things in blue this white so is far. blue white. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> blue white, the flickering and blinking. There's a lot of really cool. Yeah. And I remember from the draft that there was an ephemerate and a momentary blink. Okay. That both were in there, and I am very scared of you making a lot of reflections. Okay. On the other side, I have some really good plays that I can make that ignore that. So I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Should I kill the tapped thing that can untap? <laughs> which is very conservative. <laughs> or should I play one of the best cards in this cube? And I think I'm gonna do that, which I just drew. I'm gonna cast Mother of Ruins. No! Mm -hmm. And then I'm going so to good. tap two, and I'm gonna get that flashback on Lingering Souls back on. Okay. So that's gonna give me two spirits. And, you know, we talked about how my deck has a lot of two for ones, one of which being what are called crew lands, which are lands that come to play tapped. And when they come to play, I have to return a land to my hand, which mm -hmm. is, you know, not great. But it produces two mana. Now, I have three colors of different mana in play now. Okay, okay. Yeah, All you, right. better, you better fear it. But yeah, I think that is everything for my turn. All right. Don't love that card. Not going to lie. If you don't deal with it this turn, I am free from anything dying to removal for a while. Joke's on you. I don't play removal in blue white. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bradley. I already drew. I'm going to play an island. And I'm going to start by attacking you with my reflection. Ow. Okay. 15 All lives. Right. All right. Next. God, I still got some good plays, Brad. I got some good <laughs> plays here. None that are going to beat the Mother of Ruins, to be fair, but, you know, I still got some stuff to do. All right, I'm going to start with a Wing Oof. Splicer. I'm just making tokens here. So Wing Splicer, yeah. when it comes into play, I get a 3-3 Golem. You know, doesn't have any cool abilities, but <laughs> thanks to this, Golems have flying as well. So. That is pretty good. Yep. All right, I'll pass to you. All right, I will untap. I will draw for turn play a Swamp, and I'm going to tap four mana and play a Necrotal. Oh, That's okay. That's a one. Uh, does that uh, resolve? Spicy. Yeah, but there's Force of Will in here. That's true. What it actually does is it's first strike, so it'll be able to block your 3-2 yep. as a 2-1. And when it comes to play, I can destroy a non-artifact, non-black creature. So I have okay. three options because that's artifact. Yep. I am going to target your wing splicer, which will knock okay. those wings off the Frexian Golem. Oh, all right. I don't have the Force of Will this time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> now, Brad, if you want to attack with that Mother Runt, I'm just going to give you a Brother Pass, okay? I'll just take it. <laughs> Right, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. 19. I'm taking it back. <laughs> I think we have camera proof that yeah, you no, attack. No, 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 there's no take back it's the, seats. It's the magic of, of, of filming. We can go back. This is the Telerian Pro Tour. There's no take back yeah, This is like the fifth time we've started this game, right? <laughs> it, it, no, it just feels that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's not shuffle up, rewind, and play, right? Yeah. You shuffle yeah. up, and then you play, Brad, okay? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna keep my mother back to protect me on right. defense and pass the turn. All right, okay. Does that give protection from artifacts? It does not. Ooh. It's just a color. Loophole. So I'm gonna start by attacking with my golem. 
All right, well, I don't think that I it really can just not try to do something. And what's the cool thing about Mother Runes is often if I use it in combat, it will still be the lightning rod that takes the heat for removal spells. So I still yeah. should get what I want out of combat. Sure, sure, and, sure. And I think oh, it's not really worth it because it is colorless. So I don't even know what I'm saying. I was going to yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Please yeah, continue take your monologue. It. <laughs> take it down to 12. Let's, we can edit it out and post. Yeah. Like. Brown, these are not getting edited out. We're making no. extra blooper reels <laughs> yeah. of all your edits. Oh, okay? no. I, I told you, your worst plays will be turned into shorts. I'm never going to be able to financially recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then the second main phase, I'm going to Clarion Spirit. Whenever I cast my second spell each turn, I'll get a 1-1 one, one white creature token with flying. I'm gonna cast a second card, okay? Sounds, sounds like something <laughs> you should do. I'm gonna play Usher of the Fallen, a boast, so when it attacks, I can pay the ability and put in a 1-1 one, one as well, and then I will trigger Clarion Spirit to get myself a do you flyer. Have I got I got spirits, yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I get this 1-1, one, one, and... That's it for me, bro. I'll pass to you. All right, this is getting scary. Oh, you missed a land drop, so you have all gas. I didn't play a land drop. Oh, you, oh <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's three lands in hand, baby. Play one of my uh, favorite cards. You got a lot of favorite cards in there. It's almost like the cube's full of nostalgia and good stuff. It is, it yeah. is a lot of, that's what I like Gee, about the cube curator is so cool for adding yeah. all these cards. <laughs> <drops. laughs> well, that's one of the things that I like about um, peasant cubes and common on common cubes in general is, there are a lot of like nostalgic things that I used to play, mm, and yeah. they only have like 10 words per card. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Those were the days. Yeah. No and, questing beasts here. And right. they're all flavor text for the yes. <laughs> Oh, I remember flavor text. Oh, oh, man. Those were the days. It was like a book. Is that the backside text? <laughs> yeah, no. That's, that's the whole other card these yeah. days. I'm going to play Dante. Lord of Luxury. This Ooh. is this is a card that uh, until I drafted, I thought was only a rare, but it yeah. got down shifted. So what Gonti does is it comes into play, it has Death Touch, and I get to look at the top four cards of an opponent's deck. I get yeah. to exile it, I get to cast it, and the mana can be spent it with any mana that I can have. Yeah. Uh, and then the other three go to the bottom. So I get to steal things from you. Mm. Yeah, so Brad used to play a lot of Gonti decks, and he would play them because he would build such, you know, just atrocious mid-range decks that yeah. he needed <laughs> his opponent's cards to win the game. So, yeah. Not a joke. <laughs> I mean, that was straight serious. Yeah. That was not a setup. That is just reality. All right, so if I cast oh. one of my opponent's cards, then that'll go to their graveyard. So I don't think I'm going to put this one. Mm. Yeah. But I think this one... Wait, my momentary blink? Maybe. No! Don't feel like I should give you access to that one, though. I have two good options. One is defensive. And I don't really feel like being defensive, so I am just going to. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> like I could take I could take a reflector mage to bounce one of the, the tokens to stop combat, but I I like drawing cards. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's right. fair. Keeping with the mid range plan. Yeah, really. not cool. Here. I'm gonna put your card underneath the Gantu. That's what I used to do. Uh, because I hope you forget about it. Well, <laughs> I have, and it is made for some very awkward next rounds at Pro Tours. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to end my turn by continuing doing my tap land and slow mana okay. with a Nomad Outpost. Now I have four different colors of mana. You better be afraid. So greedy. Nip visit coming up next. Wow. <laughs> I, I am still afraid of everything that you're doing, so I'm going to pass. So once again, I will allow you to attack with Mother of Runes and free damage. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm gonna gonna stay home with my mom. Okay, yeah. you, you, haven't, you haven't hit him for one yet. Exactly. Fine, I'll attack for one. No, I can't. That'll be next turn. Peer pressure, there we go. So many take back seasons. <laughs> You're done, bro? Yes. Okay. Oh, this never untapped. Okay, so I'll draw a card. Never untapped. Ooh, that's an interesting one. I am, I am in a tough spot. Oh, okay, uh, well, I'm coming in with a spirit and a golem. All right, so. Uh, I don't want to keep taking damage, and luckily, you know, Gonti does have Death Touch. Now, I would like to use, my deck has some things in it that could flicker it or can use it, but I don't really have access to them right now, so okay. I can't really afford it. So I'm going to block Gonti on the Golem, and I will bounce two spirits off each other and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to pass the priority to you, Bradley. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Mama, what should we do? <laughs> should we protect a spirit and open you up for removal? I don't think so. I think I'm just Are going you sure? to. 
<laughs> is that your final answer? Hmm. Can we film both <laughs> and then see which one I like Brad, more? Brad, there's no takes his back. <laughs> I'm, I'm not taking so anything back. Now. I'm not taking anything back. Can I'm we saying we it? film both outcomes. Oh, get, oh, movies sure. have multiple endings for it. Okay, okay. Can we get like a takesy backsy counter for the yeah, whole Yeah, right. <laughs> Absolutely. The number of times Brad is asked to take that. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through, I'm just replaced by someone else. It's the <laughs> ultimate takesy <laughs> backsy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna no no priority. All right, okay. Trade These are dead. Gaji goes the graveyard. Okay, so second I'm main phase. Put this up here, then. I just get that back then, right? No, this is mine. Even next Aww. round, if you beat me, older brothers never share. It's, it's just a fact. Younger brothers just take. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, we got it. Yeah. Well, tell it to your mom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so then I'm gonna play. Soul oh, Herder. you familiar with this one, bro? Yes. This one. All right. Soul Herder is three mana for a 1-1, one, one, so pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible stats. Whenever a creature is exiled from the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Soul Herder. Step one, the better ability. At the beginning of your end step, you may exile another target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its control. So blinking effect. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna target this. Yep. So I'll get a counter when this yep, goes out. You. Thank you so much. And you get another reflection. And I get another reflection. More reflect. Oh wait, this is the only one I have of that, so I'm gonna use a dice. Does anyone have a mirror? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then uh, I'm done. I'm done for my turn. This is getting out of control. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I really wanted to cast this card, but now I have to try to kill Soul Herder. You leave Soul Herder alone. I, I <laughs> can't. Okay. It is it is too good. All right. So I'm gonna tap my Chancery and a Swamp. Just fatal push it. It's Just fatal cube. push it. It's in the cube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to cast a Bone Shredder. Uh, As the card says, it shreds bones. Okay. Uh, this is a Flying Echo 1-1. One, one. Echo is during my next up, you have to pay three mana for it. Uh, talk about power creep of now new magic cards. <laughs> and uh, when it comes to play, I get to destroy a non-artifacts or non-black creature. Soul Herder is colorless blue and white, so it is neither artifact or black, and I'm going to target that. But you, you? It, it doesn't have any bones. It's a spirit. Yeah. 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 And you can't bone? crush its bones. Yeah. No, it's shred. It's it's can't shred. It, it doesn't have bone shredder. It's boneless. Aren't well, you going to feel shredder. silly you don't have that momentary blink now, huh? <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, you could do it twice. Well, then you get to do it. I just need to know if you have ephemerate. I'm very nervous right now. <laughs> oh, so you're targeting that? Yes. <laughs> With a removal spell? Yes. I have an ephemerate. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna target my soul herder to exile you. it. And it's gonna go with rebound, so I'll kind of set it here. Uh, I will lose this counter. Yeah, it's though, a new one. Because it's whenever a creature is exiled, but it doesn't check itself, I would no. assume, right? Okay. Sadness on the stack. That is very Bones sad. Bone's been me. shred. And I'll play a putrid goblin, and all it does is it acts as I feel right now. <laughs> it's a 2-2 two, two and it's putrid. Uh, it, when it persists, will die and come back with a negative one, negative one counter on it. Do you ever wake up and just feel putrid? <laughs> I do. Every day. <laughs> it's called being 40. <laughs> this will happen to you. Fair, fair. All right, <laughs> and that is my turn. Okay, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna have, once again, this does not untap, believe it or not. Ephemerate comes back, and it will target this, though. Yeah, and you get a, another reflection. Another reflection. I say, let's just do upside down tokens for now. Okay. And we just know that these are them, just for the fact that this now just, to me, it's a, a six five. Yeah. Okay, sure, sure, sure. And so, people often skip forward in our videos because they're like, they're dragging on, and they'll yeah. think that they're, you know, Brad, you've been yeah. on Shuffle and Play twice. It's not all our videos <laughs> yet. Yeah. No, and nobody ever skips forward in, in my yeah. videos. Yeah. They, they might play them at one and a half speed, but they don't skip forward. At Prof's videos, they rewind to watch it again. Yeah, okay? that's, that's right. And you they know? always like and subscribe. <laughs> I've liked and subscribed. Have you? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I, you don't have a channel for me to like and subscribe to. Do I do. Yeah. I don't remember what it's called. Yes. No. I'm subscribed to his channel, but I don't Ooh. I don't ever hit the like button. Oh, no. you don't? Is it the okay. dislike button? Gotcha. No. They let took me, it away because I was pushing it off. <laughs> but I am subscribed. Okay, wow, I'm honored. I'm honored. Okay, so I'm going to get back to this. I'm going to draw a card. I cast an ephemerate. I did my thing. So I am going to cast 
a locks it on Warhammer. Oh no, that's gonna be so good. <laughs> so that was my second spell, thanks to Ephemerate. So yep. I will get a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, locks it on Warhammer, comes into play. Oh, this is a beating. My attackers don't look great, Brad. No. You got I... First Strike, you got Putrid Goblins that are coming back, you got this Echo card you probably would just throw away. You can only flicker your stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I was gonna flicker your Necrodolls. <laughs> oh. I said that, but yeah, shoot. <laughs> Protection from blue, I don't want you touching my stuff. Okay, fair, fair, fair. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go to my end step. I'm gonna target this once again. Uh, yep, that's okay. fine. So I will get another Reflection. This will be... So many. Oh, and yeah, your turn. All right, I'm going to untap. Now I have an Echo and I don't want to pay it. Uh oh, you got so that much. Oh, Echo, you have to get rid of a creature. No, it. Sacrifice I have to pay to keep it, keep it around. Oh, just pay three mana. You got something that good that you can't spare three mana. Uh, I don't have something that good. Okay. You have something. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and I can actually do the appropriate mana because of my chancery. Okay. I am going to cast Cloud Blazer. Ah! Oh, this is, oh, this is five on. mana. When it comes into play, I gain two life and draw two cards. Wow. Is that good? Yeah, not not okay. great, but I'm not doing anything about it. And that puts me up to 14. All right. Corey's still at 20. Still at 20. <laughs> Mom can still get a free pass to come on in and hit I'm, me for one. I'm going to keep up my cast spells and draw cards game plan, which I'm going to cast okay. Wall of Omens. When it comes into play, I draw a card. It's a 0-4 defender. Real original, Brad. The whole <laughs> drawing cards thing. I will play a Swamp. Okay. Yeah, that's all That's all I'm going to do with my turn. Alrighty, better do something to get through some damage here. So I'm going to draw. I, oh, I'm not sure, Brad, I'm not sure. Mother of Ruins is a really annoying card. It's such a good match. <laughs> it's <card>. so <laughs> annoying. Isn't there a new one where it doesn't target itself? Yes, Giver of Ruins out of Modern Horizons. So that was a rat to Giver of Ruin now, right? <laughs> right, yeah, I just can't target it itself. Here or <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna try to declare attacks. Well, I can't stop you from declaring your attackers. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're gonna come in there with my reflections. All four of them, they're coming in, and I believe, uh, let's go with just the reflections. I'm attacking you with four mirrors. All right, well, <laughs> I feel like I want to clean up some of this board because the longer we go, and the more things you have, that hammer just gets better and better. So yeah. I'm gonna block one of the three twos with a Cloud Blazer, Kay. one with a Wall of Omens, Kay. and one with a Necrotel. Now, Kay. this means that the Cloud Blazer will trade, the Wall of Omens would bounce off if you don't have anything, and the Necrotel yep. will deal first strike damage. Okay. Um, and then you're leaving this one? I'm leaving one unblocked. Okay. I will pass priority to first strike damage, if you would like to allow. Pass priority, first strike. <laughs> Hi uh, there. Right. Yeah, there we go. Oh, like. no, this is the proper way to do it. I would like to pass priority to regular combat damage, That's Bradley. Fine. Okay. Trade. This goes to you. Okay, this goes right here, right? Nope. Oh, <laughs> right here, right? Okay. I will go down to 11 lives. All right. Hmm. Okay, then on my second main phase, I'm going to cast another one of your more favorite cards, I feel. Oh. I am going to cast Flicker Wisp. <laughs> Your deck is so good. It's kind of cool. Is that good? Yeah, that results. All right, so I am going to target this. Yeah, and then get a So counter. end step, I'm going to Soul Herder, target this, because you have to target. I can't actually target oh, this with yeah, the yeah, way yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the triggers work. Because that gets exiled, you get a counter, right? Yes, yes, right away. yes. I was just about to say, Brad, I know how to do it as I messed it up yeah. immediately. <laughs> <laughs> this, you got to turn to your big brother. Yeah. The floor is yours. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're at your end step. This yes. is still exiled. There's yes. two triggers on the stack, one for this to target something and for this to return. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna have uh, this return first. Um, but you have to target before it comes yeah, back. Yeah, so I'm gonna target this, then this is gonna come back. I'm gonna yeah. get a reflection. And Flicker Whisk is exiled. And now this is exiled and comes back. This no, will get it, another counter. It comes back at end of the... Uh, no, then return it to the battlefield under its own arc control. So it just comes right back. Oh, okay, so now yeah. this is here. Yeah, so now Flicker Whisk has an ability. Now that one will be coming back at end of the next turn. Yeah. I can just do the normal traditional thing, bounce this again, get it back. And if Mother of Ruin wasn't there, I could do something like target it now, but then you yeah. just give it protection. I could target your Necrotol and you mm -hmm. know, do you a favor. I would like that. Mm. So I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to target this again. All right. So this one is phased out. And, then and now this goes up again. 
you know, I'll pass you. you know what I like targeting with Flicker Wisp? Bounce what? land. Bounce lands. I was thinking about I, it. I was thinking about play, it. Yeah. It's a real, it's a real was not DJ help. play. <laughs> that was not help. All right. Well, I had a game plan that I wanted to do. I hope it's Lou's. Because it involved drawing better this turn. And ah, we did not do that. Bold strategy, it, it the draw was, better strategy. It was, so what I'm going to do is cast a card that, that a normally card. I have a plan for, but this time I do not, and that's Demonic Tutor. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna look through my deck and try to find a game plan as okay. I Okay, I mean, I'm terrified of that. You just top deck your best card. There's no fixing what you drafted, Brad. Oh. There's no going back into the cube. It's like, I'll pick up this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> this one out. Just get the rest of that cube, please. I think I might have to go for the most value play that's left in my deck. What Be careful, I got blue ephemerate here, all queued up, ready to go. Second Gaunty? It's, it's a very strange... Okay. Oh, I don't have to reveal it. Okay. You just did. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, so I bet he's gonna play it. Yes. Yeah. You wanna... Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am going to cast my fell singer. <laughs> fell, fell, fell swinger. Fell yeah, stinger. Right. Fell, fell stinger. I think you said every name, every S word of four fell. All right. So so when stinger. fall poker comes into play, <laughs> uh, I, I, it exploits a creature. Target player draws two cards and loses two life. So okay. I'm going to cast this. Does, okay. Yeah. Does it resolve? Okay. Yes. Okay. Before I do with exploit trigger on the stack. Oh my. Are you doing fancy stuff? I mean, I've got to try to do something because I'm, okay. I'm in trouble. I am going to cast Malakir Rebirth on Necrotol. Ooh. So what this card does, it's it's one of the, the, the double-faced lands, and it says that tar, choose target creature, you lose two life until end of turn, this creature gains. Whenever this creature dies, return it tapped on its own control. Now, anyone that knows the Rectus Evoke strategy in Modern yeah. is familiar with these effects. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't love that. I will tell you mm -hmm. that, but it resolves. All right. So yes. now my... Exploit trigger is going to sacrifice Necrotol. Good choice. Oh, I lose two life first. So I'm at nine before yeah. that. Now this triggers to come back into play. And you lose two more, right? I will lose two more once exploit tr triggers. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yep. So Necrotol comes back into play and okay. I will target your soul. And target herder. this, you said, right? No, the soul <laughs> herder, the one that's, you know, beating me up. Ah, uh, that's hurting the souls. Okay. Yes, that is hurting gotcha, the soul. Gotcha, gotcha, One without gotcha. bones. And then I will draw two cards and lose two more life and it puts me at seven. Okay. You're doing a great job defeating yourself Stop. with that. I am, I am, I am, I am, yourself, I am very much hurting myself, but I gotta find something to do. Don't worry, you got mom to stitch you back up after you get hurt. <laughs> All right, and then I will play an Orza Basilica, which is another one of the bounce lands. And I have a lot of you know cards and lands, but not a lot of good things going on. Uh, okay. So I will bounce a swamp back to my hand with this. So now that is everything that I can do with my turn. And it was not as impressive as I needed it to be. Your turn. <laughs> That's not everything I can do with your turn. Because this is coming back at yes. any step. Oh, I guess it does come back. No, still tapped. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but I will get another reflection. Yep. So these are all three twos for anyone who fast forwarded through the video. No <laughs> one happened here, right? Look, I see dumb things yeah. sometimes, I'm sorry. This isn't the Bash Bros podcast where they flip to the end, you know? <laughs> Wait, they, they clicked on it though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have it on tap. I'm gonna draw. Now, what do you have to do with that two mana? Is so, it a removal spell? Yes, it's a removal spell. <laughs> Which one? I'd like to play around with. Kabira Takedown. Kabira Takedown, okay, that is... Probably in your deck, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Brad could easily just be being very honest right now, and yeah. that totally could be a, or it could be lying. It, it does remind me of, I think, my favorite story from a team tournament. No, it's sealed. I'm I'm the decider. It's uh, it's 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 limited. It's a black green mirror. And one of the cards in the format, uh, it's something awakening, but it's like a rude awakening. It's you'll, you'll put it on screen, you'll find it. It's yeah. two colors green, turn all your lands into two twos. Rude awakening, yeah. But it was from a new set that's fixed. It's just three mana oh. total. But it was a rude awakening effect. Anyway. It's polite I'm, awakening. It's polite, <laughs> yes, polite. So, so I'm playing around polite awakening the entire game. And my, my teammates are like, what are you doing? And I'm, I'm doing all this. And then finally I win the game, even though all come is weird. And they both look at me like, why'd you play that? And I was like, I was playing around polite awakening, which <laughs> it, it was the first, release weekend. Yeah. They're like, wow, how did you even think to think about that card? I was like, I have it in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's information I'm reading. Yeah. So it's going to help me out. <laughs> 
All right, I love it. What I don't love is me having to get back to making a decision. During that story, I should have probably thought what I was going to do. I say you just equip your Loxone Warhammer to a creature with two toughness and not flying an attack. To my best Oh, wait, creature, I don't have right? my first strike marker. <laughs> <laughs> you might actually be giving me sound there advice on that. That's fine. Right, so I'm gonna go with... How are you still on four lands, by the way? This is crazy. Yeah, right? You happy? <laughs> See, Zion Citadel, the best land for turn five. I am going to... Do you, want a, do you want a fun piece of trivia? Sure, hit me. I, I, at my first Pro Tour, it was block constructed and I played a Jun deck and I had, True. A, I had a Seaside <laughs> Citadel on my sideboard. Oh, fancy. In a, in a Jund deck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Were you trying to like, you know, You'll, just, you'll just have to go back and find it. All right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's boring if I explain it. <laughs> it was boring if you didn't explain it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna make a decision. I'm not sure, to be honest. So I am going to equip Loxodon Warhammer to my Usher of the Fallen. Sure. And then I'm gonna declare attack. Yep. Bring okay. It. You're gonna usher in attacks. I'm gonna Ooh. usher in a new era of attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit that shiny With attack ball button. Yeah. Ball flood. I'm, I'm sure. going big. Everything but this Tapped sad creature. mirror over here. So what's it gonna be, Bradley? I've attacked all. How oh, do you feel this about is, it? This is bad. I think I can survive this turn, but I'm gonna have problems next turn. So, all right, let's 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 walk through this. So we've got three, four, three twos that are coming in right here. Yes. <laughs> and then we have this back row that's also coming in. You're touching your Correct. opponent's yeah, Well, I'm trying to organize this because that's not in combat. Uh, it's not called shuffle up and confuse the viewer. Um, <laughs> All right, so I only have a very select amount of blockers. Yeah, isn't it called shuffle up and stay on your own side? <laughs> yeah, so, so we'll just we'll reveal this so we can talk through all the decisions. I do actually have Kabir Tech down. I know, which I, is, I know. It. Which is a colorless white instant that says deal damage equal to the number of creature control. So I'm going to be able to deal six to something. Okay. You could play it as a land though next turn, just so you know. <laughs> I, could. I could have also made a better decision last turn and not went for the greedy I want to draw cards and lose a bunch of life. I, could... I, I thought that was pretty good. You want to get soul herded to death? No, I could have killed it and, and stayed alive. Oh god. All right, well, so then, yeah, that was probably silly. The problem that I'm <laughs> that I'm facing is I can't survive this turn without leaving a flyer on your board. Okay. And the flyer with with locks on Warhammer next turn is probably gonna kill me. Ooh. So, but I, I think I have to just make the best decision that I have. So I'm gonna take okay. these three creatures, a wall of omens, a putrid goblin, and a fell stinger, and block three of the illusions. Okay. Then I'm going to put my spirit in front of your flicker wisp. Okay. And then what I can do with the mother of ruins is I can block and protect the mother of ruins to save life and then kill, use the Kabir takedown to kill the, uh, the sure. five one okay. Warhammer, which means I'll take three down to four, but that would leave me without a flyer to block the spirit that with the Warhammer. And so I need to find one life somewhere in the next turn. Get a life. Yeah, Sorry, get Bradley a life needs a life. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I have to make these decisions. I don't, I, hopefully I'll just draw something. I think you gotta play that. around gut shot as well. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> your, uh, your strategy is hopefully I'll draw something. That's that's a lot of pro strategy. <laughs> Honestly, like what, what, what really sets pros and non-pros uh, uh, differently is is playing to your outs. Yeah. Usually I, you know what your outs are, I do not know what they are. Right <laughs> well, you're about to be out, so yeah, I'm, you better, about you better to be play out. Yeah. right. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to make those blocks. I'm going to block the four reflections with these four creatures. Okay. I'm going to block the flicker wisp okay. with my spirit. And that was the one really bad block that, you know, we like to trade up, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's a, tra it's a good trade up. Yeah. I'm going to then cast Kabira, take down on your usher. All right, usher's dead. Take six damage. Okay. And then I'm going to finally use my Mother of Ruins. I'd be careful of Gutshot, though. You know, uh, we'll now see that what it's We'll see what happens. And I'm going to... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Tab it? <laughs> yeah. If you let me say, do I, do I get to pick what color? Yeah, yeah, pick your color. Is that blue? <laughs> that's blue. I'll say blue. Okay, that's fine. All right. All right, so we'll, we'll move that to damage. That would be epic. <laughs> yeah. We'll move to damage. We'll move to damage, yeah. This These bounce off each other. Yep. These trade, yep. which will create a trigger. These trade. trade. Yep. These trade. These trade, yeah. I take three down to four life. You took these three because you blocked there, right? Yes. Okay. And so, then and yeah. then I will get my putrid goblin back with okay. a minus one minus one counter. Okay. So after that, I already played my seaside citadel for the turn, so I'm gonna pass to you, bro. Just draw a land. 
so this, this when you go to draw, just turn it right over. Yeah. Yeah. Bold. No, it's because this, or nothing. this isn't a lightning helix moment. <laughs> <laughs> you got red. It's true. <sighs> Ooh, I can't believe I got there. God, it's all the time. <laughs> yeah, I cannot believe it. Uh, all right, so we're going to start our turn with a Birth of Miletus. Okay. And so that is a saga that's going to allow me to search my library for a planes. It's one of my favorite cards, yeah. yeah. And put a planes in my hand. Well, you, you got to reveal the planes, Brown. Yeah. Oh, do I? <laughs> yeah, you just got to reveal it. Oh, okay. Here's, here's okay, the Okay, but then you don't get that other card. <laughs> Which? Yeah, that... <laughs> which one? Which which one are you talking about? I'm gonna assume you have lost the game. No, because I do in fact have the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't get there. All right, well we're playing to see who will go up against Corey in the finals. Mm. And Corey, you get to retire from Magic forever now. But oh, we'll get, we'll oh. get what it does to you. No, I thought Dude. that's if you lost. Oh. No, that's if he won. So yeah. if you won, you, you get to commentate the on the Pro Tour. Yes. Oh. So you get what he has, and if he wins, he gets what you have, which is an exit from Magic. Ah, oh. so I'm you get going, to, you're, you're out. I've had some good food in Portland since I've been here, so yeah. I'm gonna move here. You know, I'll sleep in that couch or whatever. Oh, you're, you're yeah. hired. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I th no, no, I thought he, got to he gets to retire and do all of my, my work. Losers have to wait on the porch shop back. Oh, <laughs> I understand. I'll, I'll, I'll be there in just a minute. Yeah. Hey, that's better treatment than when you lose the top eight of a broken. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Wow. Because <laughs> I've never made it there. Good game, bro. Good game, Good bro. Game. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to round two here of Shuffle Up and Play. We just get to sit and relax and hang out. Well, Emma and Prof, Shuffle Up and Play. Here we go. This is as close as I will ever get to having Pro Tour coverage on a game I have played. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. And I apologize in advance for what you're about to witness. Emma, you got the buy practically. But, you know, Hi, no that. pressure for me. Oh, I, I don't need know. To win now. I got a few. I got a few. I got a few sack outlets. Yeah. In Professor, the don't worry. We're only going to mildly judge you. Oh, it's yeah. okay. okay. I'm going to get heard? most of the judgment. You'll yeah. get some of it. Uh. And if you hear this is an interesting play, that's commentary for maybe pick a different play there, <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. Shall we roll for high? Let's go for it. Five. Can I beat five? I yes. You it's can. It's the same. same. Wow. It's the wow. actual same 4-1-5-1. Four, one, Loaded one. die All confirmed. Right. Yeah. Shall we uh, shuffle up and then draw seven? Yes. <laughs> and that then play. The other name for the show, shuffle up and draw seven. <laughs> Did you workshop that one? Yeah. I, I, I wanted to call the show Shut Up and Play, but it's a music tutorial channel where they teach oh. you to play music. <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe. And like, I like, guess. <laughs> they, 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 let me put it this way. They have enough subscribers that I couldn't rip off their name. Right. Nice. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, they've only got 20 subscribers. It was like, oh, okay, that's a real channel. That's yeah. an actual number. Yeah, yeah. So. And, and on topic, cool. yeah, the, the other shuffle from play is not doing well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the one, what, you mean the one with you? <laughs> I mean, okay. the other content creator. Like, that you mean shut up and play? Oh, shut up. Wrong. And, oh, yeah. Oh, you said the other shuffle up and play. Yeah, you yeah. did. We're shuffle up and play. <laughs> the, the, the show, so explaining play. the joke ruins the joke. But you said there was they were too big that I couldn't st rip it off. Oh. So I was implying that okay. you did rip off shuffle up and play. Oh. Uh, uh, is this uh, joke usually like this? Yeah, it's usually yeah, about yeah. this. Yeah. Do Why do you think I don't laugh? Like a pity laugh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Brad. I'm so It's so funny. funny. <laughs> yeah. I should go back to content. You should. Yeah. <laughs> Prior to this draft, I wasn't too familiar with peasant cubes. I was more of a popper cube guy, but I'm definitely putting one together. They're incredibly affordable, and I was surprised half these cards were peasant legal. They're great things in here. So I actually changed course quite a few times during my draft, and I think I got there in the end. My first pick was a ravenous chupacabra, and that was because in that pack there were cards like Gary, the Grey Merchant of Asphodel, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna do Mono Black Devotion. But then I didn't get anything in terms of Mono Black Devotion. I got a couple Mono Black good things, but my real highlight was I drafted a Cogwork Librarian and it let me pull two cards out of one pack of my choosing 
in a cube draft, that is really sweet because there's no chaff. There's just all great picks. So I really enjoyed getting that. Then I started going into red because I had a young pyromancer. So I got some spells like chain lightning and burst lightning and brimstone volley, a favorite of mine from original Innistrad. And eventually I just ended up with a kind of Rakdos sacrifice mess. I've got jury master of the review, goblin bombardment, and of course, Zulaport cutthroat and blood artist. So will it work? Uh, let's find out. So is it is it bad Blank that we stir. did not that we did not uh, <laughs> shuffle each other's decks? Shall we do the pro thing that I, they I, did? I'm and, just cut it. I'm I'm not. I'm not. Mm. I just cut you. Mm. I just cut you. Oh. Interesting play. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. So for this uh, draft of the peasant cube, I went really simple. I went with mono green. My first pick was Lanawar Elves, which is, we all know how good Lanawar Elves is. In the second pack, or the second pick, sorry, I got a Yorga Tree Speaker, so I was just like, cool, guess I'm the green player in this draft. I would assume while the draft was happening, people will try and be cute and clever with like combos and multiple colors. I just wanted to keep things simple, and I just kept getting past these green cards, so stuff like Sakura Tribe Elder came around, Palaka Worm came around in pack two, which was like a huge sign for me to go, yes, I'm gonna be in green. There's a counters theme, so you got like Rish Karpima, Gauge, which turns all my creatures into like mana dorks. I've got stuff like Overrun as a good top end. Um, and then I splashed blue a little bit for the Colossus Sky Turtle as a way to regrow some creatures, bounce something back, or just play this massive threat with all the mana I have available. The end goal for this deck is just to play all my one mana creatures, ramp into a huge threat and just turn sideways. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just good, honest, clean magic. All right, would you mm. keep or, or mull that? What do you think? Are you, you're on the draw? You got a nice little curve. I got a nice little, I got a nice little lot of that, though. It's close. What am what I do you doing? Think, Brad? Hopefully you play magic cards. It's it's a weak hand, but how, <laughs> how I mean, but but how many strong hands? Do like, did you draft a really good deck? Yeah. Is, is the card? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to six. So am I. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> is this why your opponent's mulligan against you so much? With the didn't pro realize. You them into no, I didn't even mean it that way, but I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> Did, I didn't realize I was trying to, to get some punch bag. Like, yeah. come on. <laughs> I would have kept for sure, that's all I'm saying. But <laughs> I'm the type of player, you know, we go by, maybe not you as much, but the Seth Manfield style of keeps and mulligan. Just keep, just it, keep all. it all. Just keep I mean, it all. That is, a, yeah. that is a good argument. And if your opponent's mulliganing, sometimes it's actually, players will like often be like, oh, if they're going to mulligan, I'll keep this, you know, because I already have an advantage. Mm. But like in a lot of times I will like mulligan even more aggressively because I know I don't have to get as lucky because they're down a card. Mm. And so I can have a stronger draw. Yeah. Like, I just think, you know what? I'm going to draw some goods. I'm keeping. Yeah. You just believe in the faith. heart of the yeah. card. Yeah. No, wrong game. Wrong game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's better right, already. Be better. So that's that looks a little bit. To see that? Well, uh oh. But I only have. Oh, no, I got. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, 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 yeah. Ooh, the ooh. sand is amazing. Oh, thank yeah. you. Oh yeah. Swish. Fine, oh, I gotta Morgan. put something back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I gotta put something back though. It's uh, your show. Do what you want. Yeah, yeah. What do I put back? <laughs> what are we working with? We get one more. That's oh, better. that's that hand yeah. sounds great. Um, another one I'm putting down though. Probably this. This is real good. People don't respect this card. Oh, that card's very good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do this, I think. Are we ready? <clears throat> <laughs> we are ready. Cool. I Welcome to wait. round two. We already did that. You have 50 minutes? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Begin. <laughs> I will play yeah, a <laughs> forest, and I will play a Lanawar Elves. Lanawar, what so are they what good for? It's a 1-1 one, one, uh, green creature. I tap it to pay, uh, make a green mana. Yes. Over to you. I was playing with Lana War Elves since they did have that artwork. When I played Magic, when I started playing Magic, that is the artwork that Lana War Elves had, but it had a white border. Gr Grandpa, let's get you to play. <laughs> <laughs> cards, cards today are too complex. I don't like Planeswalkers. Did you have to go uphill both ways to yeah. play your Lana War Elves? That's to tap, to tap that. Oh, okay, to tap. okay. All right, we're gonna do a turn one mountain, and I do not like that ramp. Right away, I'm gonna, Zap that, doing uh, one damage to the elf and one damage to you. That's just mean. You 
forked the damage <laughs> with the forked bolt. That's I, way I, more I told than you dealt to me the whole long game. <laughs> you did. You went. Oh no! I told those Llanowar elves to fork off. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna play forest. Then I will play a Sakura Tribe Elder. I can sacrifice it to get a basic out of my deck. Yeah. Okay, you'll go. Rampant. That's what green does. <laughs> I like my vegetables. <laughs> play a swamp. By the way, excellent choice in the basics. These Thank are the basics you. for Emma's Cube and the awesome choice. Great basics. And I'm using them to bring out good old young peasy. Ooh. Two one, whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a one one red elemental creature token, and that's retroactive, right? I get one off of what I did last turn. I'll allow it. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. My key. Do we put it to a vote? <laughs> my key, my rules, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pass the turn. End of your turn. Oh dear. I'm going to sacrifice yeah. this to get a forest. The basic forest card. You stop the ramp and she's still ramping. Yeah. You're in, you're in trouble, Prof. Still ramping after all these years. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm in trouble with is I could really use. Mm. Uh, this young pyromancer can Ooh. get out of hand, though. Yes. It is out of hand. It's on the battlefield. Hey. <laughs> That was, that was a good magic dad joke. I'm gonna, I'm I got more. I'm gonna steal that one. Go into my turn. Wanna play forest? Then I'm gonna harmonize. I'm gonna draw some cards in green. Oh, right. I'm gonna draw three. Card draw in oh, green? The good old days. We are green gamers. <laughs> and when you get to draw cards and do the fun green stuff, like. Well, the fun thing was is Harmonize came out in time And it's okay. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah. So it was like a time shifted. All the things were a little wonky. Yeah. Untap, upkeep, draw. So I did get my land, but it comes into play tapped. It's a crumbling necropolis. Pass the, oh wait, no, you don't have anything. I swing for two. <laughs> Young Pyromancer's all grown up. You've Pass. already done more damage than yeah. I did in my life. Yeah, well that wasn't. I was, gonna, I, was gonna say, <laughs> I was just about to say that no attack was interesting, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will play a forest. So I'm gonna play one of my favorite cards in okay. this cube. A card that you two probably are pretty fond of. I'm gonna play a Centaur Glade. Ooh. So it's a five mana green enchantment. I can pay four, four mana to make a three free Centaur to uh, creature token. You'll go. Untap, upkeep, and draw. So that's just an enchantment. You're yep. all tapped out there. You're in black and red, so yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Feed the swarm, we got him. Not in the queue. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start by just attacking you for another two. And then we're gonna spend two here for a little card called a Mortar Pod. This is a living weapon, so when it enters the battlefield, I actually get it on a germ token. And it's already equipped. An equipped creature gets plus zero, plus one, and has sacrificed this creature. This creature deals one damage to target creature or player. I can equip it to something else if I want for two. Already equipped my germ. Yep. Pass to you. So I drew a card. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put another forest. Seeing a theme here. Wow. What's it like to have? Are there, there are other colors in your deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got pass, I kept getting past green cards, so I'm just gonna play green cards. Yeah. I have some decisions here. Is we are gonna play a Jade Mage. Mm. So it's a two mana, two one. I can pay a two and a green mana to make a one one sapling token, and then I'll pass the turn. You're gonna pass the turn. I'm gonna hold up some mana. You're holding, but you're in green. So yeah, yes. okay. It could be like, yeah, right. It could be like Perfect. giant growth. I can do <laughs> things. It's on the board. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I could do things. I, I read the card. I, see the card. I can do stuff with things. She's throwing right. some serious jade on the professor. Yeah. All right. Mm, I like go. that. All right. Let's 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 have a little bit of fun then. Let's have a little bit of fun. Black and a red mm -hmm. for a blood artiste. Ooh. Whenever blood artiste or another creature <laughs> dies, artiste. target player loses one and you gain one. It is a 2 1. It is a 2 1. I am. Um, going to sacrifice it mm -hmm. to deal one damage to your 2-1 Jade Mage. Does that all? Okay, that's what I was like waiting for the giant growth. <laughs> so trigger off of the Blood Artist. So I've actually got two triggers here. When the Germ dies, Blood Artist triggers, yep. and I gain a life, you lose a life. But also, when the Jade Mage dies, I gain a life and you lose a life. Yep. So I go up to 21 and then 22. And I go to, go to 13. 
All right. All right. Technically, you go to 14 and then 13, yeah. but that's fine. But actually, <laughs> that's still not true. Oh, wait, but you've got that mana, right? Ooh, yeah. Right. Uh, so that is true. <laughs> that, that, I didn't tap this at any point. Your, life, so you know. your life total statement resolves. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Pass. End of your turn. Yes. I'm going to make a token. All right. Make a free, free centaur. That looks bad for you, Prof. It. A 3-3 three, three is definitely scary. 3-3 <laughs> three, three is scary. Go into yeah. my turn? Yeah, go into your turn. Do it. I'm gonna get combat. I'm gonna rumble in the green zone, because I'm the green deck. You are in the green zone. I go to 19. Okay. When in Portland. <laughs> uh, second main phase, I'm going to pay one mana to play a Findhorn Elves, mm -hmm. which is very similar to Lana White Elves. I just make a green mana when it's tapped. Mm -hmm. And then I will pass the turn. Oh, nothing for five mana? How unlucky. I know, yeah. right? Wow. Oh. I'm just so unlucky, I hate Corey. When that happens. I know. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and play a Swamp. What to do, what to do. Concede? <laughs> not quite, not quite. <laughs> Don't ask again? <laughs> we're going to do double red yep. and one, and it's time to magic missile. Ooh, Ooh. okay. Spell can't be countered, so no countering it, green player. <laughs> it you got it. Three damage divided as I choose among one, two, or three targets. And trigger off my young pyromancer. There you go. There we go. I get a one, one elemental. Are these Ross Miriam? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I get a one-one. One, one, one. I would have, I would have evaluated Ross Miriam as being more than a one-one, but it's your cube. Ah, uh, you never met him. He's a one-one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Actually, this is this is how I look at it. Yeah. Do we think Ross can fight a cat and win? Ooh. Mm. I don't know him well enough. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna assume yes. Can yes. Ross fight a bear and win? No. Mm. Can anyone fight a bear and win? So I am one. a bear token, so <laughs> I, could, I could beat him up. Yes, correct. <laughs> Targets for the magic missile. Yep. Uh, target one is going to be your Findhorn Elves for one damage. Sure. And that is going to trigger my Blood Artist. I gain a life and you lose a life. Yep. And then you're going to lose two more life because you are targets number two and, and number three, three for my <laughs> magic missile. Magic so missile. I go a 12 <laughs> due to Blood Artist, and then I go a 10 because of magic missile. Very cool. Uh, I would love to just swing on in and attack, but you still have all this mana open, <laughs> so I am going to pass. End of your turn. Yes. I will make another turn. Oh, God, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. I will make another turn. game plan, though. Yeah. We see the tension. This is like all you needed to draft past this one card is forests. I'm going to lose <laughs> to a Glen. <laughs> This is one of the cards in the cube that people don't respect. And they're like, why would you put this in here? And then yeah. they lose to it, and then they first pick it next time. There we go, there we go. So I'm gonna play another forest, surprise. I think I'm just gonna do this, because this seems fun. So I'm gonna pay- Fun is probably very bad for you. I would think so, I'm gonna yeah. pay seven mana. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be bad. I'll play a sifter one. Ooh. So this is, a, this is a seven mana creature one. It has trample. Uh, when Sifter One enters the battlefield, I get to scry free. Mm -hmm. Scry free. Two on the bottom and one on the top. Mm -hmm. Then I reveal the top card of my library. Then I gain life equal to its mana value. It's four, so I gain four. Okay, Ooh. that's that's good. I gain. I go up to fourteen. It's like an anti-magic missile right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or sorry, anti-magic missile. <laughs> got to um, so you've got one black mana, you've got young pyromancer, you've got eight elemental, and this mortar pod that's not doing anything. Uh, I'm just gonna go combat. Cool. I'm gonna swing in for six. All right, uh, those don't have trample though. No. Nope. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm afraid Ro <laughs> whether or not Ross Miriam <laughs> can defeat a cat or a bear is irrelevant because he can't beat a centaur. I'm blocking one of the centaurs yep. with Ross. Uh, I take three, but when Ross dies, we're going to trigger off a blood artist. Correct. I really only take two. Yep, and I go to 13. I'm at 18. That uh, reference means my bad joke got in. Yep. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, and draw. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. So what so, we're gonna do. So if we're saying interesting, that means it's a bad card, right? Oh, no, no, that's, that's only from the common center. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all subjective. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna start by tapping a swamp 
for a mortician beetle. Yep. This is a 1-1 one, one insect. Whenever a player sacrifices a creature, you may put a plus one, plus one counter on mortician beetle. Then what's really cool is I'm doing Swamp and Another to evoke a Shriek Maw. Ooh. I can see where this is going. Yes. <laughs> I was like, oh, not grief, and I'm like, it's wrong format. <laughs> Wait, actually, now that we think about it, are, are, are you saying that you're a Rakdos Evoke player in Modern? Uh, no. No? No, I, I play Merfolk in Modern. <laughs> all right. I've always played Merfolk in Modern. Sounds it's all I ever did in Modern was play Merfolk. This isn't Modern, this is Peasant. Do you play regular 60-card Peasant? No, I don't. No. It looks really fun, though. Why do you not have a popper cube if you're on the popper... Uh, Rules Committee Council. I like, I like. Advisory group, what's it called? <laughs> it's called the Pauper Format Panel. Uh, Pauper, it's the Pauper it, Rules it's Committee. Called, it's, could, called, it, it's called PFP, which sounds like a file format. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it should be the, the Pauper Rules Committee so that everyone else knows what it is. To be fair, we suggested that, but Gavin was like, no, no. I want the Pauper Format Panel. I was like, okay, okay, so we have to sound like a file format. There was another um, YouTube channel with that name. Oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> anyway, my Shriek Boss gonna kill, I could kill the Centaur. Mm. I could kill this centaur, mm. but I think I'm going to kill uh, Audrey too, over there. Yes. And then we have got a uh, trigger off of Audrey two dying. Yeah. So it goes to 12. Go to 19. And then my Shriek Maw was only evoked, so it's sacrificed right after entering the battlefield. Mm -hmm. You also lose a life and I gain a life. I go to 11. I'm at 20. Start the day. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Mortician Beetle gets a counter on it. Yeah. That That's a, a combination. Lot. That is a synergy. <laughs> I can now move to declare attackers. You are all tapped out. You should attack with the blood artist. I'm going to send attack with the blood artist to send the message. There we go. I like that. Bravo. Go 10. Go to 9. All right. 9. nine. Pass nine. turn. Productive turn. Yeah, that was good. Oh, I'm going to draw for 10. So what do you have? You have this 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. I have, I, I have more. I have a mortar pod. I have a crumbling necropolis. I'm gonna go combat. Yeah, I know you are. I'm gonna swing. <laughs> I'm gonna swing six. Huh. He huh. says with disdain. <laughs> I know you are. So at this point, I think my strategy really is to concede. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are wearing green. I am wearing green. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? You concede when you're wearing green? Just matching the deck, right? Oh, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> Take the damage. <laughs> I'm you're gonna hope my... that my one chance is I can grow this beetle bigger. So I'm gonna okay. go ahead and I'm gonna take the six. Okay. Cause I'm at starting life of 20. I go down to 14, unless there's any pump effects. No blocks. No. Let me start here. No blocks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. No giant growth. Okay. No giant, no giant. Well, for now, you blame me. Giant growth on the cube. Right. right. Um, mm -hmm. Second main phase. You don't have giant growth on the cube? No. It's common. <laughs> Lots of commons exist, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mythic common, first of all. So. so I'm just going to pass the turn. All right. Because I've got this card. What do you got? Ooh. Nice. Nice. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> tricky, tricky. All right. She's got nothing. It's, got, it's gonna do something. <laughs> She's got nothing, but I suggest trying to win this turn. <laughs> cool. No pressure. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I have a nine. <laughs> Play Swamp. You got land, nice. I do have land. Play Swamp. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're going to attach the Mortar Pod to my young Pyromancer. Uh -huh. Okay. Which I can now sacrifice at any time. Would you uh, like to do it now? <laughs> no. How about no. now? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see ourselves out. <laughs> what I would like to do. Just two brothers. <laughs> what I would like to do is move to declare attackers. Yeah. Okay. And I would like to attackers you with my mortician beetle. With okay. four blocks. Yes. I'll make a two. I I assumed you would. Uh, Here is a center. Oh, interesting. Who knew okay. that I would do that? Right. <laughs> Predictable. <laughs> now is that centaur gonna let my mortician beetle through? This centaur token is going to block this mortician beetle. Which yes. Which is probably going to get bigger. But it is yeah. going to get bigger. Because it's a sacrifice deck. Because I'm sacrificing my young pyromancer Whoa. to the mortar pod mm -hmm. to do one damage to you. Go to eight. Okay. Which will trigger both my blood artist <laughs> and my mortician beetle. 
making my mortician beetle a 3-3. Three, three. The blood artist will bring you down a life point and me up a life point. I am on seven. All right. Uh -huh. These two trade. Yes. Trigger, trigger. trigger Chicken trigger. dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna kill me with a burn spell? You got it? No. <laughs> Again, bring Morbid trigger, meaning you're that does five damage. You're a morbid trigger. I am a morbid trigger. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play, so true story, I used to play and win with this card during Innistrad. It's what won me like my first game day. Oh, that's was, Yeah, I would have that's Goblin ar Arsonist, and I would do things like sacrifice Goblin Arsonist to Goblin Grenade, and then Brimstone Volley. Nice. I loved it, I loved it. Did you pull this game out? I did not think you were going to win. I did not expect that. I would have had either. it next turn, I think. What, was you, what oh. would you have had? So my plan was um, to either kill you with centaurs or uh, regrowth the stifter oh, one to gain loads of lives. Yeah. Oh, oh, that would have been good. If I didn't have the uh, evoke on that. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Good. But wow. good game. Good that game. game. That was that a was very good game. game. <laughs> that looked good. Yeah. I told you that that yeah, was good. Yeah, I know. I, and you I were agree. like, you I still don't understand why you don't have a giant growth in the queue. Why not? Why? <laughs> what is the decision making behind not having giant um, growth so in the queue? So the, the combat tricks that I have in the cube are all like snakeskin veils and uh -huh. berserks and things like that. Stuff that gives like hexproof or deals loads of damage. Giant right? growth is a combat trick. You're you don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, I am. A, I, we'll see if it's enough. Would you, I, would you like me to put Giant Growth in the cube? Yes, I would. Okay, I can do that. Really? you got to sign it, though. Will you, yeah, will you, un, will you unban Atog and Popper? I need to talk to Gavin about that. Take an inch. Give an inch, take a mile. Yeah. <laughs> I want my Sorry, Atogs it's, back. It's, it's a kilometer, not a mile. Oh, there you go, there you go. So, welcome to round three of Shuffle Up and Play, where we are playing my cube. Are you excited? I, I'm excited. I am How excited. I am still mad that I'm not in the finals. <laughs> I mean, hey, saying, but yeah. Yeah. should we have, uh, we have like a loser's game? After oh, this? yes, so yeah. Just go off Definitely, yeah. No, I want to play more cube. Like, I, I want to draft in. again. This cube is a ton of fun to play. Well, that's the great thing about cube is that afterwards, we don't have to buy anything. We just have to shuffle up and play and draft. Shuffle yeah. up and draft. Let's go. Shuffle up and draft. Shuffle up and draft. So, uh, it's kind of, we're on more the little bit more of the, the content create because you write yeah. these awesome articles. Okay. If you haven't read Emma's articles, you should check them out. Uh, so we're a little bit more on that content creator yeah. and this is pros, this is what it's coming down to. You're yeah. on my side yeah. is what I'm saying. You're on my <laughs> yeah. side here. We are also comment content creators. We can say well, comment well, at least you are. You <laughs> identify as a content creator or a pro player. Well, honestly, I had a really <laughs> sick channel. It was called uh, Shut Up and Shuffle, but it didn't really <laughs> by that. So, you know, my search <laughs> algorithms are going way worse uh, <laughs> now, but. How do we determine who goes first? Do we roll? If this were the finals of the Pro Tour, would you Rock, roll? Rock, paper, scissors. No, yeah. it would be first standings. You know, if seating, right? Oh, if we were in the finals, yeah. yeah. The actual Let's finals. just roll again, okay. Or, I mean, we can save time. You're gonna roll a five, I'm gonna roll a six. <laughs> That's how it's worked so far, right. but. Oh, seven, seven, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a six. All Eight. right. <laughs> all right, what happened? I will be on the play. Shall we shuffle up? Let's shuffle up. <laughs> I'm excited. Well, I'm getting very confused. Are we supposed to shuffle up or shut up? <laughs> We're supposed We're to shuffle up. We're supposed to shuffle shut up. up. <laughs> not, not Emma. We love, yeah. we love hearing from Emma. We love hearing from Emma. Should I go? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, back porch. <laughs> All right, Prof. I'm I, excited. Would I you love, like to cut? I just love that win or lose, I do end up ranking higher than Brad. And no <laughs> kidding. Yeah, absolutely. And so, and so does Emma. Yeah. <laughs> I know where I belong. Hey, All fourth right. place yeah, is not bad. Yeah. <laughs> All gonna, right. Oh, you, no, okay, you're not shuffling Just the my cut. Back. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. We're cutting up and playing now. Exactly. All right. You are a cut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like this hand. What do you think, Emma? I like You it. have lands and spells. Yes. I like this. I, I like, like that. This. I like this. Yeah, yeah but it's pretty good. Well. Yeah. I gotta keep that well, on the draw, okay. right? It's I mean, all right. I like it. This card's really good. That's the, no joke. I'm not joking. This is the card that Corey made me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Is, yeah, he said I'd bottom this. Yeah? Well, I was sabotaging you. Oh, yeah. Were yeah. You? Mm -hmm. were I was you? scared you to, of yeah. playing against okay. you. Uh, right. Actually, Emma's deck was way better. Uh, <laughs> uh, All right. But I'm going to keep. I'm, I'm happy with I'm, that. I am also going to, to keep. Okay. I'm going to play a Thriving More when this enters the battlefield. Name a color other than black. I am going to name red. You're thriving. Yes. <laughs> pass. All right. I am going to draw. I have a seaside a citadel tapped, and I'll pass to you. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. Okay. Mountain. Okay. 
<laughs> you know him. You love him. Not the blood right? Artiste. The blood artist. Oh. <laughs> I'm an artiste. I don't know why I sound Italian. Pass. Pass of the time. I as, loved it. As, as a European, is that offensive, Emma? Is that like, uh, I'm technically not European. You're not. Brexit now. Oh, because so of the oh, right. <laughs> I, I was going to ask you how much does this cube cost in euros, but I it's, guess it's just at pounds. Yeah, uh, so in euros, it's probably about 300, 350. Okay. And pound. I don't, I don't know what the exchange yeah. rate of that is because I don't use euros. Not right. bad, not bad. Yeah. Okay, it's, so it's I true. already drew. I'm just going to play an island and, you know, I'm just going to pass to you. All right. Spot Artist is going to get in for zero damage. Yeah, That's bring it right. on. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw, play a mountain. Okay. Coming out this turn. It does a blue up, though. What's that? Oh, yeah. Two blue up. Could be anything. <laughs> it could be a counter spell. <laughs> could be. Yeah. Could be. Brad, you're not supposed to say what the card is. <laughs> you know? like, you're supposed to deceive, you know? I'm going to do a blue and a black, and we're bringing out my commander. It's Jury Master of the Review. <laughs> okay. Jury Master of the Review is a 1-1. One, one. Whenever I sacrifice a permanent, any permanent, put a plus one, plus one counter on Jury Master of the Review. When Jury dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. And Corey said, this is what I should put back for my mulligan last that round. That was per that situation, you know? Yeah. Different time. <laughs> right. Now on this game, I also think you should have put that back. <laughs> <laughs> I would swing in with my blood artist for zero, but you might have some kind of trick see tricks. I wouldn't do that to you. You wouldn't? No, you brought me out here. I would not do that to you. I wouldn't mm. take away your blood artiste. <laughs> I let the hand movements. <laughs> a pass of the turn. All right, I'll just draw. All right. Ooh, uh, that's not good. So I kept a bit of a sketchy hand, I'll say. This mm -hmm. whole keep all your hands thing, never mulligan. Sometimes Brad, Brad it doesn't pay off. Kind of sketchy. A little sketchy. Yeah, a little sketch. So I drew a lamp, but it was a tap. Okay. Well, that's okay, that's okay. All right, and then I'm going to play, uh, I'm gonna play Journey to no. Nowhere. <laughs> and uh, you can just put this right under here. Not the blood artist? You know, you can have your blood artist, you know? I mean, artiste. Well, can't blood you artiste. put that in your command zone now that it's your command Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna redirect That to was the foolish zone. of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll pass to you, prof. All right. Untap, up cap, draw. Up cap? Up cap. <laughs> oh. You oh, this is lovely, 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 lovely. I'm gonna have an outburst, a hordling outburst. Okay. Three, one, one, red goblin creatures onto the battlefield. That Here they are. Jam. I'm scared. Yeah. I, I sure remember playing that standard. <laughs> yeah. I sure wish they had haste. Yes. I sure <laughs> wish they had haste but they'll be coming your way soon past the turn. You used to play that with Jeskai Ascendancy, right? Oh, I mean, I was the first one that played it. Yeah? Like, yeah, right when it came out, it approached her with Stoke the Flames. That was a good That's deck. A great card. All right, so I'm gonna draw. Um, okay. How much are you in trouble? You know, I didn't draw a lamb, but I got some stuff to do, so I'm not that afraid. I'm just kind of afraid. So this works <laughs> so well against Bradley. I'm going to play a oh, little reflection action. I'm going to get myself a 3-2 reflection. So it does the same thing as round one. Exactly. <laughs> Got it. Well, I mean, round one, it did some things. Yes. So it's, it's not going well, quite You're that playing much. a better opponent this round, so it might die. <laughs> yeah, it might. It might. Okay, and then I'm done. Let's start by bringing out a goblin bombardment. Oh, 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 I'm in trouble. You're in now. trouble. Yes. Yeah. You're in danger. <laughs> in danger. Yeah. So there's actually a couple ways I could go about this. Okay. This you can do stuff and things. I <laughs> take that back. I will journey to nowhere. <laughs> 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 a couple ways I can do it. Now you're all tapped uh, out. I hate to burst your bubble, but I'm gonna burst <laughs> lightning. Your reflection. My reflection. Yes. All right. Your illusion uh, got targeted and it Love popped. Love me a Okay. And then I'll, trigger. Uh, yep. Trigger. Trigger. 19. 21. Move to declare attack. <laughs> yep. We're playing with goblins. Goblin rumbling. All right. Rebel, rebel, rebel. I'll take three damage. I am down to 16. Did you want to attack with any other creatures? No, I think I'm, I, I'm not. This is the finals. I'm not sending any. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> 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 I have really bad allergies here yes. in Portland. So. Yeah. <laughs> Pass. All right. Reflections untapping. You've unlocked my uh, my trap card, we'll mm. say. 
That was not the worst card I've ever gotten in my life. Not the best. Play a Seeker of the Way. Seeker of the Way is two mana for a 2-2. Two, two. It has prowess. And then whenever I cast a non-creature spell, it'll gain lifelink until end of turn. Great card. Great popper card. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not quite a tog worthy, but pretty close, no, right? Nothing Atog. is. Nothing is. <laughs> I hate togs. And then I'm scared, so I'm just saying no. Really? Yep, yep. Really? I am scared. I mean, if you just look at the board, you're at half life, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. Eight, that's eight damage and life loss <laughs> that, just sitting there. Yeah, I am in trouble. Uh, again, I've got the wrong lands in my hand. You've got the wrong mm -hmm. lands in, in my hand. hand. I've got the wrong <laughs> lands in, in my hand. And DMC's uh, hand. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, no one owns that. No one owns that. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, All you right. do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna spend two, okay. and I'm gonna bring in an Orzhov Enforcer. This is a one-two with Death Touch and Afterlife. When this creature dies, create a one-one white and black spirit creature token with flying. Okay. Pretty nice, pretty nice. All now right. you've got one mana untapped. Yes. I could attempt to ping that Seeker of the Way. You could. And you might prowess it. <laughs> I could. I could also <laughs> get rid of your uh, uh, little vain, vain person. Yes. I could get rid of your vain person. I'd lose all my goblins, but you'd take some damage. But I would. But he does have a mana up. But you do have a mana up. But I don't want to be held hostage. <laughs> I don't want to be held hostage. Okay, okay. And so what I'm going to do is I know that that is part of your little combo flicker thing. Yes. That's what I'm determining is the bigger threat. You don't, you don't think so? You're, you're I'm just, I'm just waiting for the ephemerate to come. <laughs> Sacrifice a goblin to goblin bombardment, one damage. One to you, I gain one. I'm going to take one. All right. Mm -hmm. That's going to take one. All right. I'm going to go to 15. Sacrifice a goblin to goblin bombardment, one damage to that, and when you gain one, I lose one. <laughs> I'm gonna take one. I was gonna take one. Yes. Twenty-three. Yep. Does he have it? <laughs> Urza. I'm going to play. Told ephemerate. you. <laughs> Ella Schnorn. <laughs> <sighs> but you you took your damage. I did. Probably trigger. Yeah, Probably. you can respond by yeah attacking that and killing it. Thanks to the advice of your brother. Yeah. Sacrifice that and kill that. You want him to win? <laughs> I, you're on his side. You're on his side. <laughs> but I you just help him out. Uh, yeah, I don't want to hear this. Right. So we have to I, hear about this at Christmas. So then I take a lot more, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you. I didn't see the line <laughs> on that, and Brad helped me out on that. You gotta look in the mirror. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to. Find I'm afraid that your mirror broke. Seven years bad luck. You're losing to the professor. Oh, pass. oh dang it! <laughs> you done? Uh, what 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 else is there? I mean, you can attack with blood artist. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you your options. No, here. no, okay. he's giving me my options. Fine, I will untap. I will draw. Oh yeah. All right. I'm gonna play that. a land. <laughs> so I can play to the battlefield. I can maybe try to, uh, you know, gain a little bit of life to try to, you know, not die here. But I think I am going to start by attacking for two. I shall let it through. Okay. All right. So take two. Oh, that's it. No, that's no. It. Going <laughs> that's it. Going down. And I am going to play... A wing splicer. Uh-oh. Okay, so I'm gonna get a golem, and this will give it flying, and I'll pass to you. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Tap, upkeep, draw. <laughs> I need you to have a bad turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, this is sweet. Uh, black and another. Okay. Zulaport Cutthroat. Oh, oh, no. Whenever Zulaport Cutthroat or another creature you control dies, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. That would have yeah. been great a turn ago. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I would have. So this uh, is where all my sacrifice things are. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm just going to just, just gonna go ahead. You're just going to chill? And, 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 well, that's, that's, I could take away its flying right now by hitting that thing. You could. I yep. could. I could. And then you're going to lose two and I gain two, but then you've still got it coming at me. I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Okay. I will untap. You can do things. Things? I don't like things. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna draw. All right, I'm gonna play an island. Mm-hmm. Loxodon Warhammer. Oh, no. Okay. 
space. What's the equip cost on that? Three. How many untapped mana do you have? I only have two. So theoretically, if I had a way to get rid of an artifact on my turn, that might be bad for you. That would not be great for me, <laughs> no. That would suck. That would really suck. I'm going to guess you have something. Yes. Yeah, all right. Suddenly, I've got the right land. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the right <laughs> land in his hand. He's got the right. Oh, just one? Yeah, all right. just one. <clears throat> all right, so this does get a prowess trigger. Yeah. And I will attack for three, though. All right, cool. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and declare blockers, but uh, yeah. hold after that. Uh, just okay. First, let's just start by declaring the blockers of the spirit against your uh, Seeker of the Way. I have no responses to that, Prof. At this point, now that the blockers have been declared, I am going to sacrifice my spirit yep. to Goblin Bombardment. So, trigger off of the Blood Artist, mm -hmm. uh, I gain a life, you lose a life, and trigger off of the Blood Artist again, I gain a life, you lose a life. My Zulaport Cutthroat is only going to trigger off of one of those creatures, so... I gain a life, you lose life. And oh, that's just stop. yours. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm I'm only going up to 26. <laughs> I'm only going that's up to 26. That's it. Not bad. 26. All right. Well, your turn. And, uh, you know, do I have to sweet talk you? Just let those locks on Warhammer live. No. Okay, no, no, then no. I'll pass to you. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, and there it is. The oh, swamp. no. There I mean, it is. There it is. So th what's awesome is, is I can do two really cool things this Me turn no. that I just need to choose between. Mm -hmm. Which cool thing do I want to do first? I think I want to get the heck rid of I that. I would say whatever upsets Corey, but whatever you do is going to upset Corey. Yeah. So. I, I want to start I'm in trouble. right now. <laughs> yeah. I want to start right now by tapping uh, three, two of which are mountains for a Durger Hedge Mage. Okay. Like if you can't pronounce it, you can't cast but it. But I pronounce Durger. <laughs> Durger. Durger. I'm going to guess that destroys an artifact. It does. Now, I was upset that I did not. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> targeting this. Oh. Okay. Targeting this. That's bold, but I guess. Yes, yes. You had another Tori. Tori, would you say it's an interesting play? No, that was just a good play, yeah. <laughs> Pass the turn. Okay, may I untap and go to my upkeep? And draw? Okay. I'm in my, I'm, when I pass, I go to my end step. And so now oh, we're in sure, the end sure, step. Sure. Any end step stuff? No, I got nothing oh, no, on no, end no. step. Okay. Yeah. Now we go, now we pass to you. So now it's untap. Okay. All right. And anything, end tap stuff? No. Okay. Uh, upkeep stuff? No, upkeep stuff. Draw stuff. I'm going to draw some okay, stuff. Draw. Okay. Hopefully. All right. All right. You're not going to do anything tricky to me here, are you? Well, I've got goblin compartment. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am going to start with a. Reflector Mage. Bum, okay. bum, bum. When Reflector Mage comes into, into play, I target a creature, returns it to your hand. You can't cast it the next turn. That's not very nice. Not or very any nice other though. card with that name. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Which I guess this is a one of cube, so you probably <laughs> won't have that, but... Then the turn after that I can cast. Yeah, so not your next turn, but the one after. So the one that's universal... Uh, hang on, hang on. Oh. We gotta take this in bits and pieces okay. here. Okay. All right. So it it, it it that resolves. It resolves. I will do it to Blood Artiste. In response. Okay. In response, Mr. Nine. In response, Mr. Nine. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. No, the I, hear the, I, hear, I keep hearing Emma suck in air, and it's. <laughs> this <laughs> this, this play sounds, sounds, sounds too interesting. I'm just yeah. figuring out. Yeah. I'm just yeah I would out. just let it all happen. You yeah. Would you, I'm no? just figuring out. Just wait it all out. Wait it out. You do what you want. I no. I feel, yeah, okay, everybody's- I, I they're wanna, tricking you. They're, they're tricking me? I don't know yeah. if you trust them or not. I don't know if I want to either. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you do you. You sacrifice your whole board to kill one creature. <laughs> <laughs> I let it resolve. <laughs> Blood artist goes back to my hand. Back to your hand, okay. I was gonna, it would have lost him a lot of life. That's true. I think we can get there. We, yeah. we can slow this Not down. without my blood artiste on the board. Not without the blood artiste. What do you have, like a million? 26. Uh, in basically a million. In Commander, this is losing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am going to then declare attackers. I think I need to get busy. Yeah. See, this is why now things are coming at me. Yeah, they definitely And I can't. Are. You are fine. I'm, Life is okay. a resource. All right. Let's go with... Just the 3-3. Three, three. All right. Just the 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Does it fly? <laughs> it does not. Does it have first strike? It does not. It's just the 3-3. Three, does three. it have trample? It does not. Does it have friends? No. <laughs> it's friends it's like, are in the graveyard. Like I take it's three. three. You're at 23? Yeah, I'm at 23. Oh, yeah. Okay, then I'll pass to you. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, I cannot cast my blood artist. You cannot. Time. 
but next turn I can. I'd prefer if you didn't next turn either. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh wow, I'm about to ruin this whole man's career. <laughs> am, I, am I perished? Uh oh, that's that's pretty sweet. That uh -oh. is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Now that won't do any enter the battlefield effects, unfortunately. But there's other okay. things. It's a fun it. thing. I'm curious. It's a fun thing. It's a fun, it's a, thing. It's a fun card. Yeah, it's, it's a very fun card. All right, let's go ahead and Yes. Oh, I'm in trouble. You're in so much trouble. <laughs> Double black, ravenous chupacabra. Oh my. Do you have one mana available? No. <laughs> then I'm sorry, it's counter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it, That's not glory just disruption. Instant. It's not just instant or sorcery. It is a counter target spell. Boo. More like jib. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo! All right. Uh, Choop was going to send me to the Shadow Realm. Yeah. <laughs> Fast turn. Okay. I'll end up. I'm going to draw. I need a good one. Oh, it's not the best. But I'm going to start with an attack. I'm just going to bring it with everything. <laughs> sure. Yep. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting player. No blocks. No blocks. Okay, no effects. No uh, effects. Just have you take seven. I take seven. Yep. All right. I don't think the seeker actually knows the way. I, <laughs> no, the seeker has done no yeah. seeking. That's for sure. So, all right. Then I'm going to pay three mana and I'm going to play Kitchen Finks. Oh, no. When it comes into play, I'll gain two life. It persists and it would do it again. So, I'm going back up to 11. Boo. Boo. And then I got one more island, and I'll pass to you, Prof. All right. One card in hand. One card. You can play your Blood Artiste this time. I'd prefer if you didn't, but you can. I it is can, allowed. and I will. I also play this Crumbling Necropolis. Okay. Yeah. I don't like Brad counting with his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm close to dead. Not too far off. Oh, no. Hey, whose yeah. brother are you? <laughs> He's rooting for me here. I think apparently. he is. It's interesting. It's very interesting. All right, let's go ahead. Yeah, all right. Let's bring out the Blood Artiste. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring out the Mortar Pod. Do you have one mana available? For the Mortar Pod? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. No. Okay, Oop. good. I was just double checking. That was <laughs> <laughs> Mortar Pod gets a germ token underneath it's like, it. Do you have four spike too? Like, what's going on? That'd be, you could have, you could have, yeah. That'd be a nice ones. content card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are Pass the turn. I'm scared. You should be. I'm very scared. You should be. All right, I'm going to draw. Well, that's not very good. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love how Brad's just silently counting here. <laughs> yeah. Like... Yeah. So, I'm going to play. A Master Splicer. Oh, no. Okay, I'm yeah. going to get another Golem. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now this one, unlike the flying one, other Golems get plus one, plus Sure, one. sure. I'm going to go to the Declare Attackers phase. Okay. And uh, we're going to get in there with for sure these three creatures. Okay. And I think that's it. Total damage if there are no effects and I don't block. So you're just taking it? I didn't say I'm taking it. I asked you what the total damage would be. Well, would you? I'm an English major. Would you do the math for me? Okay. <laughs> I got two, four, uh, plus two, so that is eight. Two plus three is four? <laughs> no, plus two, plus, two plus four, plus two. So I have an eight. Eight, okay, yes. eight. Yes. All right, eight. Now. I don't know if you can see the math on my board. <laughs> I was hoping you couldn't see the math on my board. <laughs> <laughs> These foils are very shiny, but yeah. even with the foiled out deck, I can see the math on my board. Yeah. I have lethal right now, but you know what I want to do? <laughs> I want to take eight. Okay. I want to take eight. Uh, I mean, any, you have any lethal effects? So any effects? Far. Any effects? Uh, I'll save it for now. <laughs> Okay. It's like the Mexican okay. standoff. Okay. Alright, I'll play a land. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I am going to beat the master, I'm going to play the card I just drew, which is just a land. Doesn't okay. really matter. Doesn't really matter. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a double mountain. You have more? <laughs> this is the show off. This is the this is the show off. Yeah. Yeah. Which of these do you love the most? This one. That one? <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid that I'm oh, going to play an active I thought aggression. you were going to kill it. 
That would be your favorite, which is why I'm actually going to be targeting your Phyrexian Golem. That resolves, Prop. That resolves. <laughs> Mine, I believe. Just tell me when it's over. Oh, it's, it's, it's over. over. <laughs> oh, we don't have long. Sacrifice the Golem to okay. Goblin Bombardment. Hit you for one. You lose two. Ten, nine, eight. Sacrifice the Durger. <laughs> Seven, six, five. five. Sacrifice the <coughs> germ. Four, three, two. I'll sacrifice the <laughs> Zulaport. Dead. <laughs> My artiste reigns supreme. Wow, that artist went all the way from Holy moly. Good game. This is a great cube. <laughs> yeah. This is a great cube. You can pick it up for only about. 400 bucks or 300 euros or- Prof uh, agreed because he won the no. pod. Yes. 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 <laughs> and Prof was also saying, I don't really think my deck is right. very good. Right. It's not very good. And then just destroy wow. everyone. Wow. Good game, Prof. Mm -hmm. I would never yeah. have been able to do it if Brad hadn't pointed out that one line to me during your game. <laughs> so thank Not you, Brad. Cool. You're welcome. You're welcome. In one sense, you're the winner. Yeah. But in another real sense, you I'm, came uh, in But last. I'm literally the Dead loser. Last. Yeah. In one thing, you gained a friend through that, but you lost a brother. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how the Brothers War started. <laughs> this was the prequel to Brothers yeah. War. Yeah. <laughs> so could I have one round one? Of course I could have. But as the bigger brother, you gotta be the bigger man. And I just love that after all these years, Corey still thinks he can beat me. So I really love this cube and really proud with what I've done with it. Um, but I might have to take it apart now because if the prof can win with it, then there's something, something wrong. So usually professors are kicking me out of their class, but this professor really took me to school. So that was a big change for me and kind of getting destroyed in that last round. But all that really matters is I just destroyed my brother. I'm sure he's going to be saying something like, oh, I got so unlucky or, oh, you know, I let him win. Don't believe any of his lies. He always tries to pull this. Am I salty about my round one loss a little bit? I, I you know, I... I really just needed one more turn. Sure, Corey was at 20 life, but I just, one more turn, I think I would have gotten him. And I'm kind of bummed that I lost the first round because when we were drafting the other day, Prof said to me, I don't think my deck's very good. And maybe look through it and going, am I missing something? And then I just got trounced in the first round. So good job, Prof. Many Magic the Gathering players have asked the question, can the professor ever win a game of Magic? And I think I found the problem. I've been playing Commander all along. I'm not a casual. I don't have the attention for the casual Commander. It's real Magic against real Magic players when I come online and sweep up. Next time on Shuffle Up and Play. It's Plain Chase with Plains Walkers. I'm Chandra Nalar, otherwise known as Tappy Joe Claus. I'm Teferi, and I'll be playing Siddhar Jabari of Zalfir. I am not Tybalt, but I am playing Tybalt. I'm Nissa, also known as Ashlyn. Today I am playing Nissa, who shakes the world. Yeah. Like, oh my god, elf ball? Or yeah. yeah! Elves and a crater hoof and elves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast baby me. Why is so that cute. your commander? Because I wanted to play the pretty one. I got a girl to impress over here, buddy. Uh, all right. Well, it's I'm not attacking you. Relax. Why? Who are you attacking? Why don't you give attacking the... Attacking Chandra. Okay. Relax. Uh, no. Glimmer Void Basin. So when you play a targeted spell, then it hits every legal target. So Beast Within, if she played it, would hit every permanent on the board. Yes. <laughs> including, like, does it hit lands? <laughs>